Hey, I wanted to go over one of the houses that we just recently bought. We're working on the construction, but I wanted to show you what we look for when we go and buy the houses that we choose to renovate, purchase, and get them rented. One of the first things we look at, and most important things, is the neighborhood. We look for what we like to call pride of ownership, and what that means is that the yards are cut, there's flowers planted out front, there's a neighborhood feel, and uh, we do that for two reasons. Number one, you're going to have good neighbors looking out for the house, and number two, it really increases the amount of capital appreciation you'll see in this house. Now pan around these areas, um, like I said, right across the street here, you'll see flowers out front. Um, this neighborhood is not a primarily rental neighborhood. It's an area known as Fox Meadows. Uh, it's one of our favorite areas to buy in. It gets very, very hard to find deals, but this is an area where you'll probably have 80% homeowners and about 20% rentals in this neighborhood. And anytime we can find one here, we'll snatch it up. The house we're currently looking at, we're still in the process of working on it, but we've done some of the things that we'll go in and see. So next, what I'll do is I'll take you inside the house and kind of go you go over what we look for in the inside of the house. Now I'm going to go over the inside of this house and kind of what we look for on the inside of the house. And uh, what I look for is things I would want myself when I come to a house. Uh, and not only that, I look for things that are going to protect the investment and uh, reduce any ongoing costs that you'll have on it. Uh, we'll start here. This would be your den area. This is where the TV and the couch and uh, it would be like a family room. And one of the first things that you'll notice, besides the hardwood flooring just looking good, what that really does, it helps for ongoing costs. Carpet can be very costly if you're having to replace it all the time. But people do like to have carpet in their dens, uh, I mean in their bedrooms and things like that. So one thing you're going to notice in your high traffic areas like your dens, your kitchens, uh, and especially hallways, we either put hardwood floor in kitchens, we usually put a ceramic tile down, which you'll see here. Uh, the utilities are not on on this house yet, so it's going to be a little dark. Um, we've got to do some cabinet work, we'll replace the dishwasher. Another thing that helps this house to rent quickly is its own separate washer and dryer. And this also goes out to a two-car garage. So all those things are the type of things that I like to have myself, and it helps with rentability. Uh, another, another thing this house has that we look for is the uh, separate dining area. So this would be a good area where the family will come down, sit down, have dinner. Uh, again, we put the hardwood flooring down to keep it uh, from having to replace carpet and that type of thing. Okay, the next thing we look at, we're going to go back to where the bedrooms and baths are. And one thing we almost always do as a rule, I'll never buy a house that's under three, three bedrooms. Three, four bedrooms are fine. When we get under that, it gets a little harder to rent. Most families are going to want at least three bedrooms. We always try to get two bathrooms, two full bathrooms, not one and a half. It just gives us a larger pool of people to rent for and helps us choose a, the best qualified tenant. As you'll notice in here in the bedrooms, we put carpet. People like to have carpet in the bedrooms. They like it on their feet when they're getting in bed makes it not so cold. So as you can see, the hallways, hardwood again, carpet here, and this will help with ongoing maintenance. In the bathroom, it's a little dark. Again, we've come in with a ceramic tile like you saw in the kitchen. <coughs> and in the, <coughs> in the, in the uh, shower area, we ripped out the tub insert and we replaced it with a tile surround. So this will make it a little more modern, uh, a little more maintenance free, and uh, just, just lower the overall cost going down the road. And down here, we're going to go, there's two more bedrooms at this end of the hall. Uh, it's kind of dark in here, but we've done the same thing in this bathroom. We've put tile on the floor, uh, tub, a towel, tub surround on this. Again, carpet in the bedrooms, wood in the halls. And there's, that's it. So this is very typical of the type of homes we sell. This house is for sale for $69.9. We may have just sold it the other day, but it's very typical of all the homes we offer. Uh, number one thing, it's a nice neighborhood. Number two thing, there's a four bedroom, two full bath. But the other part is the renovations we did. We put hardwood and ceramic tile in the high traffic areas, new carpet. This house is going to have new central heat and air to offset that in the ongoing costs there. It's also going to have a new roof put on it. So all those things should relegate any expenses uh, for being a landlord to normal landlord type things. A stopped up toilet, a broken window here and there. Small things that are typical for having rental property. And we try to take care of that on the front end to keep the returns high and uh, with good hopes of capital appreciation in the future.